You are about to become what all men should fear. You will roam the heavens, commanding the most powerful machines ever built. So unbound that not even death itself can claim you. For you are immortal. With all eternity to seize a destiny that is yours to define. But you are not alone with such power. Other demigods roam these stars as well. And they are no less driven to succeed, or to rule, as you. There are more paths than one to greatness. If you have intellect, you will survive the darkest days. If you have courage, you will claim the bounties of man and nature. If you have patience, you will amass the wealth of empires. And if you can lead, there is no limit to what you can become. What you dare to become rests on your will to be bold. Dare to be bold, pilot. Forge your own path to greatness. So that's a look at the very beginning of EVE Online. Uh, this is uh, Charlie Trainer doing the uh, try and buy review. Uh, unfortunately at this point I've played this twice. This is just a 14 day uh, trial. But I've tried this game twice and have not really gotten a very far. I would this would have to be my first try recommendation um, I'm a little bit further than you are when you start but not very far at all and when you first jump in you're gonna be in a spaceship and your initial reaction is normally I guess to go from left to right you know reading and so if you were doing that you have all the stuff character chat inventory you know all the stuff all the way down but that's not where you start really I guess and then there's this stuff and then there's this stuff and then your tutorials over here on the bottom right so when you're starting this game the bottom right hand corner is gonna be your tutorial you can go back through all this stuff and as you can see it's just a shitload of reading um, and when you first start off in this spaceship or pod or wherever you're at you, you probably wouldn't initially go right there you'd probably s start wondering what's going on and then finally you work your way here and you figure out you're in space so the controls are a little strange <laughs> as you can see it just kinda like rolls back around um, I don't know but at this point it's basically like going to a restaurant filled with a, a menu that's just way too big and you have no idea if, if I was working on this game I would go take a look at the tutorial for Warframe and just see it's full it's full blown immersion they just throw you into it this is like finish up your day hop on your game and get ready to read for four to five hours which personally sounds boring as shit to me you know like I don't want to read a novel before I start a game I want to be able to hop in and have it easy enough to play. With that said, I'm sure there's people who don't mind reading a ton and I'm sure they might like this game and I'm sure there's people who do. 
and you know I'm sure I should probably spend hours more just to give it a, a better crack but I don't want to have to do homework in order to be a drawn into the game I'd rather do the homework because I'm so interested in it and at this point I'm just not interested at all um, so with that said this game is a try for me give it a try you might like it I you know I'm like I said I'm not like a Sims person I'm not uh, I don't there's a lot of games I don't like but but this the, the biggest thing I don't like about this I can tell you right now is there just it seems to be that I have to I have to know something before I come here or be willing to like sacrifice the next half a day either reading or researching how to play this game and I don't really want to do that.